we're here for a video tour on Bremer Drive in Gedling. This property is a four bedroom detached house situated down a quiet cul-de-sac. To the front of the property you'll see there is a driveway providing off street parking leading up to a garage with a pull up door. Just to the right hand side of the front door there is a lawn front garden with various plants and shrubbery bordering the house. We'll make our way into the front of the property. And as you'll see, as you come through the front door, there is a good sized hallway and then stairs straight ahead of me to the first floor landing. Door on my right hand side brings us into the reception room, which we have marketed as the lounge straight dining room, as it would work very well for that. There is a feature bay window to the front of the, pro uh, front of the property, providing light in. Like I said, very spacious room, plenty of room for freestanding furniture. And with it being marketed as the lounge straight dining room, you can break both the rooms up. This room does also boast patio doors, taking you into the rear garden, which I'll make our way to in just a minute. We'll just finish off downstairs with the kitchen area. The kitchen has a range of units. Integrated appliances do consist of an oven with a hob and an extractor fan. There is a tiled surrounding splashback. And then we have a stainless steel sink with a mixer tap and draining board. Further integrated appliances do consist of a dishwasher. And then behind me, we do have room for a freestanding fridge freezer. As you can see, there's enough room to be an American style fridge freezer, which does work very well. Finally, in this room, we have an understairs storage cupboard. And the last bit downstairs is a utility and a WC area. As you'll see, there is a wash basin situated behind the current washing machine. And then we have a down floor, uh, downstairs toilet. So you can get into the rear garden via a door just in the utility area. And as you'll see, the previous the homeowner has had this patio with a shelter built above it. With the three gaps in, there is potential to put French doors or large windows in to make it a sort of lean-to or garden room. The patio area does work perfectly with garden furniture. And then we have a lawned area as well, which is surrounded by various plants and shrubbery, which gives the garden a bit of privacy. We have a timber gate, a timber fence, sorry, on my left-hand side, on the back border and also on the right-hand side. There is an outdoor tap to my right hand side there so we'll conclude the tour by heading upstairs just come to the top of the stairs which you saw as i came into the house by the front door at the start various doors on my left hand side and on my right hand side providing access to the four bedrooms and the bathroom we'll start with the main bedroom bedroom number one a brilliant sized double room plenty of room for freestanding furniture this room is situated at the front of the property, so it might give you a bit of a better indication as to whereabouts we are on Bremer Drive. Got bedroom number three on my right hand side. Three of the four bedrooms are double sized. This room is situated at the back of the house, so it does overlook the rear garden. Make our way down the landing to the smallest of the four bedrooms, bedroom number four. But still a good sized single room. Could be used as a dressing room or a study as well for those who now work from home. Make our way further down the landing to bedroom number two, which is the second of the biggest bedrooms out of the four of them. There is an overstairs storage cupboard in this room. And of course we have wardrobes to my right hand side. Plenty of room for freestanding furniture though. And just to conclude the tour, we do have the bathroom. The bathroom is a three piece wide suite. We have a WC, a wash basin, a stainless steel mixer tap. And then we have, have a bath shower with the shower for the bath, uh, the shower being electric and the taps for the bath being mixer tap also. The bathroom does also boast a storage cupboard which does hold the water tank but it does have built-in shelves. Tiled surrounding the bath wash basin and the toilet. 
So just to summarise, we have this uh, four bedroom detached property down in quite a quiet cul-de-sac in Gedling, within walking distance to well-regarded schools and ample amenities, and viewing is highly recommended.